Joining us now is Tom Koslick, the head of municipal strategies and credit over at Hilltop Securities. Tom, it's good to see you again. When you say golden age of anything, I think of some real positivity. What's got you so bullish about that big muni bond market? You know, the golden age in my mind started back in March of 2021 with that uh, almost $2 trillion of uh, federal aid. About $650 billion went to went directly to public finance sectors. And that's really what started the golden age. And uh, I think that that's going to continue into 2023. I think that overall uh, rating upgrades are going to outpace downgrades this year, uh, although I do think that we peaked. OK, so if, if this is the case, where are the opportunities? I'm, I'm going to peg you down and, yeah. and say, no, you yeah. know, is it in is it in geo general obligation type yeah. bonds? Is it in revenue type bonds tied to projects uh, at, at which states are out there? So yeah. what exactly how exactly do, do do investors go about constructing that kind of a portfolio? Yeah, so because we're uh, at or near the peak, one of the things that I've been talking to investors about for the last several months, and I'm going to continue talking about this, is that this is the perfect time to start to trade out of uh, state and local government credits that uh, were either structurally imbalanced before COVID, before that relief rolled in, and or uh, are likely to be structurally imbalanced in the next year or two. One of the things, even though I'm very, uh, I'm pretty positive about uh, o the overall credit situation, one of the things I'm concerned about is I'm concerned that there are going to be situations where state and local governments and other entities uh, are not going to kind of clamp down with their spending. Uh, that uh, federal aid is not going to continue. It's there. It's helping them get through some uncertainty like work from home and these types of things and uh, higher inflation, wage inflation. Uh, but I really am concerned that there are going to be some entities that aren't going to be uh, structurally balanced coming out of the next year or two. Uh, one of the other things that I have a very strong conviction about and have for several months, I've been talking about mass transit for several months now. And since I started really talking about mass transit, maybe around last summer, uh, mass transit has performed very well from an investment perspective. There's still all kinds of headline risk because of the work from home uh, stories, because you, you know, we see the castle data systems numbers, we see the transit uh, usage numbers, they're all down and they're likely to stay down. But from an investment perspective, I think that mass transit is too important to fail. And Tom, before we let you go, that's your pick, mass transit. You think it's an outperformer. I want to get your macro take, big picture. What is going to be the taxing environment that you were assuming the U.S. will be under in the coming five to ten years? And does that factor in to some of the municipal bond type thesis that you are trying to tell investors? That's a, so on the one hand, uh, it's hard to look out that many years. Uh, one of the things that I'm really concerned about in 2024 is that there could be uh, one of the things that could evolve as a threat to the municipal bond tax exemption like we saw in October and November of 2017, where uh, private activity bonds almost lost the ability to use the tax exemption and uh, the public finance community did lose the ability to use uh, tax exempt bonds for advanced your fundings. And so that's one of the things from a tax perspective I'm really looking forward to over the next like two or three years. All right. Tom Koslick over at Hilltop Securities. Thank you very much. Have a nice weekend, sir.